What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Mike Tyson. Get this. Mike Tyson reveals who is the best fighter fighting today, and this is what Mike had to say. He said, people that are small don't make money like that anymore. It just don't happen. He says, Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world. He can't sell 5,000 tickets. Then you got Ryan Garcia, a video guy who brings a whole arena. And let me counter punch. Uh, boxing is a business. And pound for pound, I pay more attention to that. More than like the sick, the people that sell the most tickets because they tend not to be the best fighters. They're just the most popular based on their following or their uh, marketability. And a lot of times they're protected, you know, and what we've learned is when you start putting those guys in with other fighters, they tend to lose. And then the other fighters that tend to win are not really marketable. So a lot of time that messes the money up for a lot of people, you know, so Unfortunately, the best people that are fighting today aren't, are not the highest paid or the most marketable. And Terrence Crawford, I think, I don't think he was marketed like he should be. But then again, he's not a clown either. He's not a guy that talk, does a lot of talking or a lot of promoting. I feel at times when you know you have a silent killer like Terrence Crawford, I think you have to put your best foot forward being a promoter. You know what I mean? Or if that guy knows that, hey, if they expect him to do it on his own, because a lot of promoters nowadays, you know, expect fighters to do more than just sit there and become the tools of destruction. Uh, they should at least have enough um, ambition to hire a hype guy, hype man. You know, like the Angel Garcias or the Teofimo Lopez Seniors, you know, those guys, you know, and those guys help build that fighter where that fighter is lacking in uh, personality, so to speak, as far as promoting a certain fight or a certain outcome. Not everybody can be Muhammad Ali. I mean, that's pretty much the difference between someone like Muhammad Ali and then Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes wasn't that big talker like that. He wasn't a Muhammad Ali. He wasn't a showman. He wasn't, he didn't have the looks or the personality or the, you know, extrovert type of, you know, spirit about him to make him connect with other people all over the place, race, um, nationality, what so have you. So those type of things happen, but it is a surprise to me you know, to see Mike Tyson uh, believe that Tyson, I mean, that Terrence Crawford is one of the best fighters in the world, but you can't deny it. He has stopped, what, eight or nine of his last opponents. And if he stops Errol Spence, oh my, what a hell of a guy. And I think people need to put money into him, you know, but he is a guy that I feel, okay, that's a very dangerous opponent because of his mentality, because he is a silent killer, but he none, make no mistake about it, when you get him in the ring, that's when you show him uh, and you see what he can actually do to people. You know, he just, you know, strikes at certain times and, you know, create open openings and, and it's very, very impressive. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Mike Tyson stating that Terrence Crawford is the best fighter in the world but can't sell 5,000 tickets, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.